And there's a concern, a huge concern about the schools in the area, you know, how the children will be handled because the city of Atlanta is an independent school district and, uh, and then the other area is served by Fulton County. So there, there would be tremendous chaos uh, in the school system if this is not done in an orderly fashion and uh, people are given an opportunity to decide what their fate is going to be. And, and also, um, Mr. Chairman and members, uh, the Fulton County School Board uh, is against annexation, but uh, and and their schools going into some other area, so they have a pending lawsuit, and so the lawsuit is pending to uh, if someone wanted to change this this uh, bill, but it has nothing to do with us becoming a city of South Fulton. Is in the area that would be annexed. So those children would have to leave and go to a Fulton County school. And if they had to leave to go to a Fulton County school, then those schools that they go to would immediately be overcrowded because now they've got children that they weren't planning to have. Then, then the, the flip side of that is the school that's there, if it's underutilized, then the city of Atlanta would have to decide whether they keep that school open or not, or whether they're gonna bus kids in to fill it up. So I mean, it just creates confusion. And, is there any uh, compensation for, from at, at all for the... Based on the information that we've received, there's no compensation that the building, the property would be theirs, and the children that, that are in that school that do not live in the area that got annexed would then have to be shipped out to a school that is in Fulton County. And that is the reason why the Fulton County School Board, who owns that those schools now, uh, has put a lawsuit in to stop any annexation of schools into the tie. Thank you for the opportunity to sit before you today in support of this bill. I'm Camille Moore and I'm here speaking for the Republicans of South Fulton and the Fulton County Republican Party. Uh, we live in South Fulton, we live in this area. And we're here in support of this bill because we believe it's our constitutional right for self-governance and self-determination. You've always supported cityhoods. You did it in 2005 and we're glad to know and believe that you're going to do it again today. Timing is everything, and timing is right now. So we appreciate you allowing us to present this to you today. We know that you're going to support it. And that's all I have to turn a lot, so I won't belabor the point. But one thing that I wanted to add is the urgency of now for this particular bill. As we know from the Mr. Hills Tucker vote last year, that citizens will speak up if they do or don't want a city. But what this is causing in the South Fulton community, since it is the last unincorporated area, is unrest. People don't know which way they're going, where their children going to school. Um, having a vote on this, whether it's voted up or down by the people, would help out tremendously in the future planning of that area. <coughs> this ask is not for a creation of a city. It's ask is to allow the citizens in South Fulton to decide their own destiny to make the determination of whether or not they want to become a city. Uh, I have personally not done any polls, uh, but I, I've been to a lot of meetings. And what you saw here earlier is indicative of what I've seen at most of the meetings where I've been, where overwhelmingly the people who've come out to hear the discussion on the city of South Fulton being created have affirmatively stated that they wish to be incorporated into the city of South Fulton. Um, and so I ask that you consider uh, the wishes of the people here and that you move forward with the opportunity to give those people a chance to vote. Um, I am uh, also interested in making sure that we move the companion bill, which would um, provide that the city, or the, or the community that's full the industrial boulevard would be annexed into the city as well. Thank you. I am in support of this bill. As you have seen the, the strong support here today, I've seen that in my town halls as well. And I think this is a good bill. And you heard about the same common theme that people want an opportunity to decide this and vote on it themselves. We could the debate all day long for and against, but people will have that opportunity. This is just given the ability for people to decide what they want. And I just wanted to make sure that my words were on the record that I am in support of this. Thank you.